this will be my lead in to uh, to my Goodwill segment. I wanted to show you some of the things that so far that I've bought for the RV at Goodwill. It was an Easter Sunday and the manager just wanted to get rid of everything. He was making deals out the wazoo. What you're seeing here are just three of the devices that I've bought. This is a base heater and you can see that the price on there was $4.99 but I actually got this for $2. This thing works like the Dickens. The Dickens baby! The Dickens you say! And that's a fan that I bought. This is a toastation. There's the toaster inside it's a toaster oven. I have seen it on sites for RVs and the reason being is that it's, look, you can see by my hand, I'll give you the hand so you can see, that that's how wide it is. I bought another space heater. They're electric space heaters. This one says, $4.99, but again, I got it for $2. This fan also, you can see it's got the nice clippy on it. That one I got for $2. Also this, that one I think I paid like six or seven bucks for. So those are just the, some of the things that I've gotten from Goodwill, specifically for the coach and brought into the coach. I love to shop thrift stores. I can't see throwing away something that's still good. So I reuse a lot of things, reuse, recycle, repurpose. Now let's take a trip with me while I go up and down the aisles of Goodwill. 99 cent Monday. Here I come. <laughs> Anyone who hasn't heard of Netflix or Hulu, VHS tapes, CDs, DVDs, as far as the eye can see, 33 cents a piece. Well, lettuce costs more than that. Where are the A-Tracks? Where are the A-Tracks? And Goodwill said, let there be light for 99 cents in all shapes and sizes and colors and textures. What is this? Technology kit. If you are not up on technology, it's right here in a kit. The technology kit. What do you get? Oh, all those little adapters. I think I have a junk drawer full of these things. The technology kit. without picking out anything. I must be growing up. I'm growing old. Here it is! CB Radio. You knew there'd be one. $25. I could buy a brand new one. I got your knackety necks. Candle holders. Some kind of hookity hook thing. The things that are gonna sit around your house and just gather dust. Until you sell them at a garage sale. Let's face it. Nobody knows what this shit is. If you don't know what you want, this is the place to go shopping for it. Because <laughs> it's probably here. Don't ask anybody where to find it. Because they won't know. That's different. Unnecessary, but different. I don't buy Nackety Nicks anymore. They got to do something for me to take them home. Just like my men. I do not know. It looks like some kind of Plinko game. Oh, 
last stuff. Oh my god, I'm getting nervous just looking at all this stuff. This is, all I see is dust. How the hell old is that? I guess in a pinch. Oh look, somebody left their balls here. <laughs> Look, two sets of balls, maybe twins or neighbors. I don't know. Maybe bowling buddies. Bowling buddies. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a scary aisle, all this glass. You d oh my goodness. I am what you, my dad would have called a gapa in Polish. Gapa, somebody who just like trips over their own feet. Oh man, I gotta get out of this aisle. You see what I do for you? Oi, 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 you gotta get out of here, gotta get out of here. There's something around my feet right now. Look at this, look at this. It's attacking me. It knows, it just knows. I'm breaking out in a cold sweat. Let me get out of here. Whew. Okay, I feel so much better now. Oh no, another aisle of glass stuff. <laughs> oh, what are these? Oh, I like anything with like little frills. What is that? I don't know. Oh, I like that. But I don't like blue. And what is that? Oh, it could be damned it's a glass. The end is the tchotchkes. Tchotchkes and knickknacks. I have to get through here, but I have a roadblock. Okie dokie. How much are you paying for that salad spinner? Oh, that's a nice one. Who's it in good health? All right, Godspeed. Go with God. Go with God. Well, this disorganized mess just reminds me of my home. I go shopping to get away from that. No, no. My eyes, my eyes, my eyes. Shoe dishes. They know me. Dishes with shoes on them. My wardrobe is what you would call superfluous. I have just got too many pairs of shoes. I'm superfluous. That is a word that I made up. I told you I make up words and I call those words shiloquialisms. She just spoke over my punchline. Just in case you don't have this kind of stuff at your goodwill, you got your basic popcorn poppers. Coffee makers, reason arts, picture frames, electronics, bread makers. You got your sewing machines. You got your George Foreman grills, curling irons, and your blow dryers. Microwave ovens, more grills, food dehydrators, toaster ovens. Oh, is that a toast station? Golden hot. I don't know. I think golden hot like it makes French toast or something. Bed on the floor. What is this thing? Well, I'll be damned. It is an old hair dryer. Remember when you used to put your head under that? They're selling it for 15 bucks. Remember that old sunbeam beater that your mom used to get out when she used to make stuff by hand without a mix? We don't need those days coming back. Somebody put this thing away. The hell? What is this? I do need a salad spinner. Eh, those are kind of things I don't really like to buy used, you know? Well, people have already fooded on them. Yes, fooded, that's a word. Oh my god. You can just imagine the bacteria that's in that. Look at that. That's peppers. Joe Rogan, where are you? That, that's definitely a fear factor activity. Olives, too. What would you eat for a million dollars? A hot water bottle. When was the last time you saw one of those? Hanging over the door of your grandmother's bathroom, right? Ooh, and she looks like my coach. You want to go shopping and bring back some souvenirs and stuff? Shoot, man, this is where you got to come and get this cheap suitcase just to take back with you. I am past the child-bearing years or child-rearing years. But I forget that there are some mommies out there. So there you go. Oh, and for you guys, here's the sports department. Boop. Oh, 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 I see DeWalt. I'm attracted to power tools. Oh, what a ruse. Got me good, my mouth was open. There's nothing in it, it's empty. Oh, look at the fancy schmancy doggy smorgasbord thing. I to get stranded at the casino <laughs> with no water at the machine that I'm sitting at. <laughs> Out of How so much? $3.99. That's the cocktail waitress to fill that up with margarita. Here's a pair of pants and they're blue tag. That means they're a dollar today. 
Okay, not those. <laughs> and definitely not these stretchy pants unless you're gonna take up golf. I don't know. I see old retirees. Oh my goodness. Too much polyester. Ooh, 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 get it off of me. Look at all the baby clothes. Oh my goodness. Why are we manufacturing new clothes? We should just stop manufacturing anything new until we've used these things up. I mean, mom doesn't even buy tricks until you finish the life cereal. Stop, stop manufacturing clothes. Well, I'm leaving Goodwill. Having bought nothing. I must be growing up. I'm growing old. It just goes to show you, the older you get, the more stuff you got, the less you need. I must be growing up. Growing old. Did you enjoy your trip up and down the aisles of Goodwill? That was on a Monday. Mondays are 99 cent days here. So that's why Monday is a good day to shop here at Goodwill. Okay, I have some things to do. Now I'm gonna go to Einstein's Bagels and get some bagels, and then I have a real big surprise for you. You know that glass, that window in the back that's broken? That's actually kind of good. That goes over the door. And I could use that in the RV, but I don't know what for. Computer monitors, speakers, all kinds of handheld electronic devices. Nothing that your phone can't do. Thank you, technology. Let's face it. Nobody knows what this shit is.